Are you struggling to create a 2D array extension in Swift that allows you to add objects even when the array is empty? If so, you're in the right place. Today, we will tackle this issue together and provide you with a clear solution. I completely understand how frustrating it can be when you're trying to migrate code from an older version of Swift to a newer one. Many developers face this challenge, especially when dealing with array manipulations. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked how to create an array extension in Swift 3.1.1 that supports adding an object to a specific index in a 2D array, even if the array hasn't been populated yet. They also want to retrieve an object at a certain index path. Sound familiar? Let's dive into the solution. So, what makes this migration tricky? In Swift 2, the syntax and protocols were different, and now we need to adapt our approach to fit Swift 3's requirements. We'll break down the necessary changes step by step. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a pro tip that will make working with arrays in Swift even easier. To begin, the user needs to create a new extension for the array type in Swift. This extension will allow for adding an object to a specific index in a two-dimensional array. Next, the user should implement the method to add an object to a subarray at a specified index. This method will ensure that the subarray exists before attempting to add the object. Now, the user should implement the method to retrieve an object at a specific index path. This method will access the correct subarray and return the desired object. Finally, the user should test the extension to ensure it works correctly. They can create a two-dimensional array and try adding and retrieving objects. Fun fact, did you know that Swift was introduced by Apple in 2014 and has quickly become one of the most popular programming languages? It's amazing how fast technology evolves. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution suggests using a more generic approach by extending the collection type. This allows for subscripting with a tuple for row and column indices, making it applicable to various collection types, not just arrays. The user also proposes creating a mutable version of the subscript for collections that can be modified. This allows for both getting and setting values at specified indices. Additionally, they recommend a lazy initialization method for creating a 2D array using a custom initializer that fills the array with repeated values based on specified dimensions. For example, usage, they demonstrate creating a player grid, initializing it with a default value, and modifying a specific position. Here's the pro tip I promised. Always test your extensions thoroughly. This will save you time and headaches down the road. And there you have it. You now have a working 2D array extension in Swift 3.1.1. Remember, practice makes perfect. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks.